How are you? Okay. Don't worry. My name is Dr. Mad. I'm going to do your full body examination. Can you please verify your first and last name and your date of birth? Can you please tell me a little bit about what's going on? Okay, flu-like symptoms. Can you please give me... Okay, I see. So you do have fever, sore throat. Are you experiencing any body aches? Body aches too. Are you having any ear pain? Okay. You're having a little bit of ear pain as well. Is it in both or life, left or right? Or in the left one? Okay. And let's see. When was your last checkup? Okay. About a month ago. Everything was good. Are you taking any medications or have you been taking any meds for this? Okay. And how is your fluid intake? Okay. We definitely need to increase your fluid intake. Uh, we don't want you to get dehydrated while you're uh, getting better. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on and I will start taking your vital signs. Okay, when was the last time you checked your temperature? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see how your temperature looks like now. I'm going to put this on your forehead. Go ahead and relax. Okay, and again. All right. Temperature is a little bit high. It's 101.2. And okay, we will check your blood pressure as well. Is this arm okay? is kind of low, 98 over 60. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. I'm going to slide it down. And I'll put it right here. Okay. Blood pressure is 98 over 60. Are you experiencing any dizziness? Not at the moment, okay. Denies symptoms of dizziness. Okay, and temperature 101.2 Fahrenheit. All right, I would like to take a listen and I would like to check your heart. So go ahead and relax for me, please.
Okay. I can hear only S1 and S2, no S3, no S4, which is a very good sign. And let's go ahead and listen for any murmurs. Can you please take a deep breath in for me? And breathe out. And again, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. All right, and again, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And again, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and check your eyes before I will ask you to close your eyes. And is it okay if I sit down next to you? All right. All right. Okay. For this, I'm going to ask you to look straight at my nose. And I'll flash a light in your eyes. I'm checking your pupil size and how it's dilating. Good. Keep on looking at my nose, please. Good. All right. Now, can you please look right here at my fingers and now look at the light. Okay, good. And now look at my fingers right here and look at the light. Good. All right. And I would like to check you for any color deficiency before I ask you to close your eyes. Go ahead and tell me what number you see right here. Good. And what number do you see here? Good. What about here? Okay. And what color do you see here? What number? And what number do you see here? Okay. Very good. No signs or symptoms there. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And what I'm going to do is I will do a full body checkup. I'm going to take some measurements and also palpate your chest and your abdominal area in your legs. All right, go ahead and close your eyes. Good. Any pain here? Okay. Any pain here? And is it okay if I palpate your abdomen? All right, I'm going to slip my hands here underneath the blanket. Go ahead and keep your eyes closed. I'm not feeling any masses. No signs of organ, organ enlargement. liver seems to be normal size. Okay. And I'm going to listen to your abdomen as well. Good. Okay. Good. All sounds are heard in all four quadrants. I am not hearing anything normal. I want to take some measurements. I want to make sure that we are excluding any inflammation of the main organs. And let's see, that would be 19.
looks very good. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and sit down next to you again. And how are you feeling right now? Very good. What I'm gonna do is I'll check your facial sensation. Okay, and I'm gonna need you to tell me first where you feel this on your face, okay? Go ahead and keep your eyes closed for me. Good, keep your eyes closed and tell me where you feel this. Okay, what about here? Forehead and here. Now I'm gonna do sharp or dull sensation. I wanna make sure that you distinguish between a soft or a dull sensation and a sharp or a painful sensation. And what I'm gonna need you to do is to close your eyes. So make sure that you have your eyes closed for this. And first I'm going to show you what I mean by sharp. So I'm gonna do this right here on your chest. Okay, and this is what doll is going to feel like. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Dull. Sharp. And now I would like to check your nose. Have you noticed anything of normal? Okay, no changes with your smell. You did. So you can't smell. You don't have a smell at all. I understand. All right, let's take a look inside your nose. Can you please look up? Okay, so both nerves are inflamed. I'm so sorry to tell you that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside your mouth. I'm gonna need you to keep your eyes closed. So make sure that your eyes are closed and I'll have you open your mouth and give me a big ah. Give me a big, 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 big ah. Good. Okay, there is a little bit of redness behind your, in the back of your throat. I'm not noticing any purulence though. Tonsils are definitely inflamed. And the back of the throat definitely looks infected. And you also mentioned that you're having a sore throat, so it does hurt when you swallow. Otherwise, I'm not seeing anything else abnormal with your mouth. Okay, if we check your smell and your taste. Okay. All 
Alright, the first thing that I would like to check is your taste and then we'll do the smell or we can do both in the same time, whatever you prefer. Okay, can you please tell me what this smells like? Okay, good. So definitely it smells like raspberries. Now I'm just going to Get a drop here and I'll put a drop on your tongue. Can you please tell me what that tastes like? It tastes like strawberries. Alright, that's not okay. Um, Alright, keep your eyes closed. Let's try one more. And see what do we have here. Go ahead and check your smell first. What does this smell like? Lavender. All right, and I would like to check your taste now. So I'm going to take one drop and I'll put it on your tongue here. What does that taste like? Okay. Well, definitely that looks looks about right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change my gloves. And I would also like to check your ears. You mentioned that your left ear is hurting as well. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you look this way first. And just make sure that you keep your eyes closed for this exam. Okay. Yeah, I do see a little bit of redness on right ear. Let's go ahead and check your left one. And keep on looking down the right ear. Okay. There's definitely some redness on this side as well, which could indicate an ear infection. Ear infection, and I would say you do have it in both ears, not just the left one. Okay, we're gonna start you on amoxicillin by mouth every 12 hours, 500 milligrams. Okay, let's go ahead and check your your ears. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll check to see if you have any fluid buildup in the back of your ear, okay? Which would really indicate of how strong your infection is. I'm gonna have you keep your eyes closed, okay? Make sure that your eyes are closed for this. And tell me please if you hear it louder in position number one or position number two. Okay, so this is position number one. And this is position number two. Number two. And this is position number one. And this is position number two. Definitely number two. Good. All right, now I'm gonna ask you to keep your eyes closed, all right? And tell me what words you hear, okay? I'm gonna need you to repeat them back to me. Very good. Not B A S M R. Okay. Chocolate. Good. Coconut. Coconut. Okay. Past medical exam. Okay. Very good. 
no abnormalities there. I'm gonna go ahead and check your reflexes. Can you please lower your jaw just like that? Okay, good. And now tap on the bony prominences of your face. Okay, very good. Well, okay. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that I have all your information before I discharge you. Now, I do want you to increase fluids, okay? Make sure that you drink lots of fluids. And if your fever doesn't drop, I'm going to um, ask you to take some Tylenol or ibuprofen. It really helps with a fever. Do you have any questions for me before I leave? Okay. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to take care of you in your home. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will definitely come back. Okay. Very nice to meet you.